everybody. It's Dwayne again, Dwayne's Bushcraft here. Oh, came up to camp, camp today after church. Gonna fix a cup of coffee. There's a wall right over here behind you that I'm gonna work on. I'm gonna straighten it up a little bit. There's some boards, some logs that fell side by side. I'm probably gonna put a, have to put a couple extra boards because if I stack them all up, it's gonna be higher than what it is. Right now that wall's about four feet high. I want a couple feet tall on that, so we'll be good. And this here is my own little homemade hobo stove. Cut a little hole here. It's just a uh, coffee cup, coffee can, I'm sorry. Put some holes around in it. Cut a hole, here, hole right here to put my wood in. Oops. This will go on top. It's supposed to be like this inside a grill, and you can put a chicken over here and do your chicken in a grill, but I turn that upside down. And this works perfect on here. I've used it a couple times already. Well, let's get it started. This is just old cheap, uh, what, UST? I think is that what it was, knife. I got it at Walmart. My other one's over in my camp. This one has a sharper 90 on it right here on the edge than the, my other one does. I'm going to have to get that fixed. And it's, uh, I got a mouse nest in here. It's pretender. Um... There wasn't some nothing in it, and it's dry. It's in between tarps, so it's good. No, it's a. Uh, there we go. One strike. Got it going good there. And there's a little bit of smoke coming out of the top. We got a little bit of wood pine stuff to get started, and then on top of that, there is some uh, old bowl leaves from. Uh, I mean, uh, bark off of a, uh, a locust tree. I think here just a minute. It's just starting to burn down in there good. There's some limbs of smoke come, a bottle of fire coming out of it there. Get it going good first and then we'll uh, put some different wood in it. A little bit bigger pieces and put our water on there and get the boiling. About to smoke me out here. There's no breeze. There it goes. Yeah, I didn't want a big fire in my big since it's hot, it's about 90 degrees. I didn't want a big fire. So just so I'd use this again. I like using it. It works when I don't need something big. There she's up running real good now. Alright. Mm -mm, need to cut that up a little bit smaller there. I'm just dropping it top until I put me a stuff on it here. Whoops. That down in there. Get you down in there. Okay. Here my dogs are barking. I'm, but like I said, I'll show some pictures later. But if you check out my Instagram, Dwayne's Bushcraft on Instagram, you'll see the photos of camp from a distance and then the woods all around me. I look like I'm Miles and miles and miles out in the woods, but I'm not. I'm not that far at all. Let me baton a couple pieces of this here right quick. Let me set this down over here for a minute. Well, I need my other knife to do the batoning. Oh, I can use this one too. It batons good. It's just not got as long of a blade as all. But this is stuff, little stuff, so. It's just a little knife from Walmart, but it works good. Until I got my other one. This is what I was batoning with for a while, so. Alright. I'm not all that hungry. I might not even cook anything today. I might just make me a cup of coffee and do some work around camp. I don't have enough followers or I would do a longer video and I would move my camera around and show. Right now I can still just do 10 minute videos. So I'm going to check on this and adjust it a minute. Make sure I'm not putting too too long a video in here. On here. All right. And I know I said I didn't want a big fire. But this can is feeling like it's a big fire. <laughs> I'm awful warm from it. This might not want to burn too good, I'm throwing something right there. 
it's uh, from two weeks ago, and it's rained since then, so I really should have stuck this in there from under here. Like so. Get in there. There we go. All righty. I'll put that there, and we'll show you right quick. There we go. Ah, my handle here. I don't like that. All right. That's not perfectly level. Should be over just a little bit more, but that'll work. Oh, making up of my, uh, what I call my Cuban coffee. Let me push this back a little bit. There we go. Now it'll set flatter for me. I don't want to melt my handle up. Not at all. So, all righty. It won't take long. <laughs> if I was using locusts like I was two weeks ago, it really didn't take long because locusts burned really hot. It ain't pop. It's not poplar, but I ain't, I'm not sure what kind of wood it is. But it does burn pretty good, though. I do have still have some locust bark, which locust bark burns really hot, too. I could put that in there as well. Green locust will really burn hot. Surprise how hot it does burn, to be honest. I'll burn it at the house in my little wood stove as I'm working on my fishing lures that I make. Okay, I know it's died down a little bit, but it'll uh, keep right on a going. And we'll have us uh, some coffee here in a few minutes. There's still a fire down in there. It's, uh, I'm trying to get ahead of myself here because I have to go back and get to feeding in a little bit. That's why I was trying to hurry. Well, not in a little bit after a while. Before it gets dark. I still got plenty of time yet, so. Okay. That water's a steaming anyway, so I mean, it'll boil if I leave it in there over it long enough. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Let's get my coffee ready here. It's, uh, like I said, it's a it's an espresso coffee, but it's also a um, instant coffee. Okay, my little coffee cup here. Oh, we're getting bubbles in there now. Um, on the package it says just to use two tablespoons. But to me, that's not quite enough. I like it stronger than what they are saying, so I'll put more. Another little cup I got, I another one thing I got from Walmart, and I've got sugar spilt in my bag. I'm going to take my bag out, and hey, now, y'all should have been up in there burning, not out here burning. Yeah. All right, my fire's wanting to come out and burn, instead of me pushing it up in and burning. All right, well, anyway, here, let's grab some coffee, because my water is about to boil, and I don't need it to boil for me. Now, this stays in my basement at the house. It does have moisture in it, so the coffee does kind of cake up. That's why you can see it around the edges here. But that doesn't bother from the taste or anything. It doesn't come in a can this big. This is my Cafe Bastillo can that I use. And I had, and I decided I would just use it here. 
three and one more. I'll put four. Because like I said, I like it stronger than what they say. Okay. And then, I need to get my sugar. Put just a little bit, put a couple of sugars in it. Okay. Since my other sugar spilt, I'll have to use some sugar I had in a bag here. All right. Put one more. This has got quite a bit of coffee. And believe you me, my nephew couldn't even drink it like this. He was like, oh, I know you're drinking black coffee again for now. And I told him, no, that's just a Cuban coffee. He's like, well, you have more sugar in it. So I put a little bit more in it for him, and then he could drink it. He's only, uh, what? Um, great time of that. I forget how old he is now. Uh, nine. I've been drinking my Cuban coffee for a couple of years. He likes it. I couldn't believe it. Mother's like, go ahead, let him. He'll learn he don't like coffee because she can't stand it. No matter what you do to it, she can't stand it. And he liked it. She couldn't believe it. And his dad can't hardly drink mine, and he drinks coffee, so. I went a little, did a little almost bubble because of the uh, solid parts. They're trying to float like uh, marshmallows, but I don't get marshmallows in my coffee, so. And this is one coffee you do not put sweetener in. It is terrible. But hey, we're glad you came along with us on this video here. Watch me start my fire up here. And get me some coffee water going and my coffee. That is some black coffee, let me tell you. And strong. Woo. It actually does need a little bit more sugar. But we're, like I said, we're happy you came with us. You like the video? Give us a thumbs up. Tell your friends. Like I said, we're just starting. Learn about watching you guys that do do videos and everything. Resting, taking a day of rest from our vid, from our uh, making our fishing lures today. And but y'all have a good one. Hit that subscriber button. Give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment. And we'll talk at y'all later, and y'all have a good day. Get out there and enjoy the country that God gave us today. Bye-bye.